I'm going to be co emceeing tonight's climbing event, the third annual. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. So, here's how it's going to go. Uh, real soon, we're going to invite the climbers up one at a time to introduce themselves to you and uh, to have a look at the climbs. And we're going to explain the rules to them. And your number one job this evening is to go friggin' nuts and scream and cheer and clap and cheer them up the wall. So when in doubt, just start screaming, okay? When in doubt, start screaming. Right. Well, let's do a quick test. Let's see if the crowd's hype right now. Are we ready to see some climbing? <laughs> like this? Oh, yeah. Like that? Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? A little bit more, maybe? Right? Oh, they're putting their lives on the line tonight for your entertainment. We better see some hype tonight. My goodness. All the climbers may or may not make it home, but that doesn't matter. We're here to see something exciting. Fall! Oh, no. <laughs> have, 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 have you ever seen climbing? I've never seen. I've seen that one movie, and it didn't end well. Which movie? Um, 127 oh, hours. Oh yeah, that's a bad time. Was that a climbing one? No one's got 127 yeah. hours to sell today. Uh, knock on wood. Uh, that's a, it's definitely something you want to avoid. Uh, well, you're gonna learn a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm here to learn. You're gonna see a lot of crazy shit, and you're gonna see a lot of people do some amazing shit. I know. Every time I see someone climbing in Winnipeg, they're still on a bike. So this is gonna be nice to see something different. For athletic purposes, purely. Sweet. <laughs> okay, so uh, you're gonna learn a lot. I'm gonna explain the rules. All these folks here are gonna learn a lot, and we're gonna get the climbers to come out one at a time. Are the climbers ready in isolation to introduce themselves to the crowd? All right. All right. So we're gonna go with the women's finalists first. We've got Katie Roy. Katie Roy, come on out. in the city. Make some noise for them right now. Batteries galore. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. So, obviously alphabetical. 
I guess there's some rules to rock climbing. Yeah, so the first thing that these folks are going to get to do is they're going to get a preview, which means that they will have one minute per route. And they will be the starting holes, they can talk to each other, they can strategize, they can figure out the routes, and then after the minute, they can go to the next one, and then the next one, the next one. This is the first time that any of these people have seen any of these routes. Okay. So is the wall climb a secret before they come out? Like there's no like specs online? Nobody has seen it, only okay. the person has seen it. This is good, this is good. Yeah. I don't just want to very confident the chat. right now. Can you no guys hear me? If have they ever climbed a wall like this before? Is this like a first ever emojis? design? The first want to see those climb emojis? Or not yeah. And, uh, and holds, by the way, for those of you that don't know, those are the things where they hold on to. I found that out earlier today. You know, really important. Uh, uh, and how long do they have to examine the wall? Yeah. So they'll have one just test the chat and one chat can actually hear me here. They will come one at a time, one male, one female climber, and they will have five minutes to climb that route. Five minutes and five minutes only. Okay. When they start a route, You'll notice all this tape, Emmanuel. Yes. I'm Each seeing the tape. is a body limb. So to start this route, they need to have two limbs on this hold, two limbs on that one. Two. And the second they lift the foot up, they've started. Okay, so I'm assuming the tape is the amount of limbs that need to be on each hold. Exactly. Two this, two. So this is like Twister with high stakes. Yeah, most people have four limbs. So. I like that, I like that. And then the goal is to climb the route and get to the highest hole that has tape on it. Okay, the highest hole. Yep. And is that on this side or on that side? So or is that each, the same each height? Each route is a set of colors. So this black one, the highest hole with the tape, is that black one over there? Yeah. And they got to get both hands on it, and they got to demonstrate control to the gems, and then they will have on it. All right. Here's a question. How many routes am I looking at right now? Great question. Four routes per category. So there's four male routes, four female routes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Four roots per category. I like that. I like that. And then whoever has gotten the top of the most climbs wins. And there's a tie. Of course. The little yellow tape hole is part of the tie breaking hole. So those are called the oh, okay. And uh, is there trick points available? Is there, you know? Just style points. Just, just style points? Right. Okay. Yeah. Alright, it's not like a dunk contest or anything like that. No, that'd be sick. There's a no spin moves, no spin moves. I mean, if I saw a spin move, that'd be impressive. We can give him 10 out of 10. Yeah. You know what, I guess they can't even do is because you have to have a hold on it. Ah. Test, yeah. test, test. See that. Test, test. A little bit of housekeeping. Uh, Feel free to take photos, videos, whatever. We've got actual photographers moving up the uh, back and forth in this front way, and we just want to keep this whole alley clear. So take photos and videos from where you're sitting. But please keep this front section clear for the photographers, videographers, and for all the cables. Mm -hmm. Like it. Test, 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 test. Oh, I like this. So it's, it's, it's test, it. yeah. I think I'm coming up as one right here. Oh, you're A lot of planning going on. Because we're switched. It's very intense. Yeah. You, you know, that's one thing I didn't know. There's a lot of teamwork going on here. I mean, see, if you're a smart climber, you're telling them the wrong route. Yeah. But that's just me, you know? You gotta play mind games. It's not just about the body. Here's another word for you. We got holds, we got volumes. We got old volumes. We got control, which is control. holding the last hole. Okay. We got beta. Beta. Yeah. What is beta? beta is. No clue. No. It is a, a, a lower hold. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So part of the part of the process is figuring out the beta for the root. Figuring out the beta exactly. of the wall or of the of the root of the root. Yeah, the beta root. of the root. The there we go. Yeah. Wait, is he changing the hold right now after they just examined it? Just a oh, okay, good. I'd be like, yeah, keep them on their toes. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> so we've also got um, Farnhammer Bruco over uh, by the change rooms. Yeah, for anyone that loves Barnhammer, phenomenal local brewery. Let's make some noise for Barnhammer, everybody. Yeah. So grab yourself a beer there. And uh, I think we've got some chicken fingers in the back, too. It is kind of yield style, after nice. all. Where are the chicken fingers from? I don't know. Oh, maybe.
make some noise for the chicken fingers. Yeah. Just generic chicken fingers. I'm sure they have honey dill sauce. Costco, That's cool. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yo, give it up for Costco, everybody. They've been they've been doing good work for quite some time now. It's <laughs> All right. Oh. Defending champions right I'm now. And talking there. So, uh, is it to the third annual, uh, city oh, oh yeah. so the, the field's wide, wide open. Just let me know if you can actually hear me here. Uh, all right, perfect. Thank you, Jeremiah. Perfect. We got one person. Isabel Schumacher. Oh, Isabel. Oh, is Isabel. Is Isabel. Is Isabel. I like that. Is, is Isabel the favorite the as well? I mean, it's anyone's game. Oh, okay, I guess. Yeah. I guess it's a different route than last year. Yeah, all the styles are all different. different. Okay. The problems for the styles are all different. Right, yeah, just I mean, I, I don't want to add any pressure, along, but uh, you know, Isabel defending the title this, this year. That's like pretty huge. Do we have any Isabel fans in the crowd? Uh, make some noise. We hear so, from Isabel. Yeah, just let us know what's up. Okay. Yeah, let's try to find, try to find the fans, you know, of the defending champ. <laughs> So what was just happening there was uh, they brought out all of the climbers, our 12 climbers, six men, six women, uh, and they were all taking a look at oh, cool. and then the climbs the that they were going to do. They get a minute at each, Good. and uh, the really cool part about climbing is that they really, you know, they really kind of come together there and nice. try to figure out. We got about four out, you know, minutes before we'll kick this off. Climbers, climbers are just getting ready, so warmed up, share data, taking all the information you know, that they you know, gathered from the wall and sport, but putting it together. We'll see how they can do. Well and succeed. It's kind of a weird thing, honestly. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna. I, at first, uh, it's terrifying. I don't like heights. Yeah, so they're all taking a this look there. This is too high for me. Uh, even looking you know, at the, the wall, being uncomfortable. I'm a little tired of being uncomfortable. Maybe not this one. I saw some easier ones. Uh, I like that one. There's that's like stairs over there. That's like this. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, no. Some of these easier ones at the back. I could probably do that. I'm not even sure. I'm not gonna lie. I thought you guys were not to put some stuff up here when I was first looking at it. There's not enough rules. These are okay. These are elite climbs. They're strong. All right. I can fit. Yeah. No, they look strong. Yeah. They look strong. This is because this is not a lot of holes. We got the lav mics. You know, we got so many. Yeah. Compared to the kitty wall back there, to try to you know put this thing together. Let me just do a quick shout out. I got a whole. I got a whole Do we know who our here. first contenders are? Like? Yeah, on camera uh, three right there. We got uh, Butter Knife Creative. Caitlin we got Caleb yeah. put together yeah. the whole kind of streaming go. helped us figure out right. the, so we got, uh, uh, how this Hunter whole thing is supposed to work. Getting ready we got to Club come out Create donating gear. We got Dan Kesselman up front. Right. We got Emmanuel. Uh, let me get his last name here. Emmanuel Lamoro. What's the fastest time Hunt ever team. done um, in these contests? We got Dirty Secrets. I was playing that music in the uh, in the pre-show. We got uh, Isoptera. Uh, we got Henry. We got we got a lot of people here. Everybody coming together to try to help okay. make this thing happen. And uh, the competition will get uh, underway. So I'm not sure if everybody heard the rules there of how um, the climbing is supposed to. But the joke is that we all know we're supposed to. There we go. I love this. Um, okay, awesome. Uh, I don't know if I And then so the, it's done, the time doesn't uh, matter, how we the attempts matter, and but is there, there, but there's no time limit. There's five minutes, they can take the whole five minutes, they can take 20 yeah, seconds. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Is there a record for okay, most so flashes in, in a route or in a route? All four, all four were flashed. Who's that, Isabel? It might have been, I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Isabel the Flasher, is that what we're doing? Does she have a nickname? Does she go by the Flasher? She should go by the Flasher. Yeah. Yep. And so what that means is that each one will come out one at a time. 
for each gender. So we'll have two people climbing at uh, the same time. I like one, that, though, one guy, it? one woman. Intense. Climbing, and, uh, they score <laughs> got the points dim light. My the goodness. Board, which means getting the very quite the ambiance. This is or they can get uh, kind of half points, if you will. On yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty excited. This the climber with the climber. What is that beeping me? Is that important? So it's a win. That means one minute. That's a one minute. They in isolation as they while they are not climbing. So we are uh, just about underway here. We got about 30 seconds, I believe, until the first climbers are coming out. Um, and yeah, then we'll, we'll be underway. Um, I don't have the running order right away, right here, but talk louder. Okay. We can just take it off. All right. Yeah. Just keep the com keep the feedback coming in, guys. Uh, I'll try to keep. I'll try to be loud here. We're uh, you know we're kind of right in the middle of the the, the den here uh, with everybody uh, the crowd right behind us. And here I come, our first climbers. All right, so we have Hunter coming out first for the men, and Katie Roy coming out uh, first for the women. Um, both of these climbers, incredible, incredible people, incredible, uh, incredible climbers. Uh, Hunter here is one of uh, the youth climbers. Actually, he's only uh, 17 years old, and um, yeah, he's part of the swarm here at the Hive. So you see him here all the time, crashing. And honestly, just in the last six months, this kid has gotten incredible. Um, winning, uh, I believe he won the last youth competition that they held at Vertical Adventures. Um, and, and on the right side, we have Katie Roy. Uh, she's a super good friend of mine. A, a lot of these climbers I know quite personally. Uh, Katie Roy, incredible uh, climber. Uh, just already pulled on once, so she, that, that would count as one attempt. Um, you look a little higher up there uh, you can see that there's this yellow tape that marks a zone hold and for on hunters climb there's a bit of a pink tape there we go Katie that's great yeah just pulling on that tiny crimp there we go so when Katie makes one more move and she touches that volume she's gonna have to demonstrate uh, that she's able to make a movement and even just by moving her foot like that, she's demonstrated control on that hold. So she has gotten the zone. Hunter here, okay. Hunter on the left here, taking. Incredible. Katie just about to get this climb on her second attempt here. There we go, come on, Katie. There we go, now she's gonna have to get her second hand on it and demonstrate control. And there we go. Incredible. Incredible climbing from, uh, from Katie Roy there. And so now, okay, now we just have Hunter out there. He's got two and a half minutes left. Okay. So that, that pink, the pink tape there indicates the zone hold. And so now he's touched it and he's moved his foot. So that's going to demonstrate that he's gotten the zone. So he should, he should have, he should get the zone. Unfortunately, the hard move seems to be after it. So one of the things about competition climbing is that, you know, it's really tough to um, kind of manage yourself on the, on the, uh, on the mats there. You got the whole crowd in front of you. Uh, you got the whole crowd in front of you cheering you on, you know, egging you on to keep going. But sometimes you really just got to tell yourself, like, no, I got to, like, slow down. I got to stop. And I got to, I got to take it easy here. I got to relax, you know, control my breathing. It can be a really tough thing to do at times. Here we have Hunter pulling on again. All right. Again, that foot, that right foot is nothing. There we go. Yeah, Hunter. Okay. All right, he's got a minute 20 here. That's plenty of time. 
All right, Garrett, the cameraman, almost getting kicked in the face there. Maybe the bad time to run across. There we go. I believe that's Nolan brushing the holds for them. All right, so Hunter's got plenty of time here. He's got about a minute. You know, a lot of these climbs only take about, you know, 30 seconds maybe to climb. Um, so, you know, it's really it's really good that right now that he's just sitting on the holds. He's looking at it. You know, he, he's going over it in his head. See, he's got a scrape on his cheek. I think he got that earlier in qualifying. All right, here we go. So he's uh, 30 seconds in now. Uh, yeah, we can get the clock going back on, I think. Uh, we'll have to reset it for the next climber, I believe. We got, we got Henry on it right now. There we go. Okay, he's got 10 seconds. He's going to have to do everything he can. All right, that's not going to be enough time for him to keep on going. Good, good first effort from both Hunter and Katie. All right, now we got we got Asher coming out and Ambrosia. Both of these guys, two of our youngest climbers in this. Ambrosia, 18 years old, a big Hive community member. She's um, uh, she's also another member of the Swarm, uh, along with Hunter. And uh, Asher, uh, mainly, I, I believe he mainly climbs at the other gym in the city, Vertical Adventures, you know, a great place, the original climbing gym in uh, Winnipeg. Um, and yeah, you know, produces crushers, like, great, great place. Uh, Asher pulling on here. Asher, only, uh, also only 18 as well. Okay. Asher close. We got Ambrosia reaching up too. Okay. Both of these climbers making it almost to the zone holds. Asher touching it. Asher made a move. He got the zone. Same thing with Ambrosia. Okay. Proving to be a typical move. Ambrosia. Oh. Okay. So... Ambrosia falling off just after the zone hole, but I believe getting it on her first try. If uh, Ambrosia were to top out the climb on this next climb, uh, that would put her first in the standings and the differential just being the zone holds. All right, there we go. Loving the camera today. Just enjoying a nice cold barn hammer, one of our sponsors for the stream today and the competition. If you guys can hear uh, this, right, going back fire to the emojis. Climbing. Fire some emojis. We'll shut up I want to see them. I want to see them on the chat. All right, both climbers proven uh, proven to find some difficulty on these climbs. Asher is a crazy strong climber. I've seen him a few times at the Hive. He's incredible. Uh, That's all right. Here we go. Ambrosia making it a little bit further this time, and she's got it. She has to. There we go. Incredible. All right. So, Ambrosia topping out Boulder one. We've got two minutes left. Asher. Asher pulling on for uh, uh, for attempt. Uh, about four or five here. There we go, there we go. Incredible. All right. Now he's got a big showstopper move here. Doing a little uh, statically. Incredible movement from Asher there. Uh, I do believe that I talked to the root setters before this, and they were. I was talking with the root setter earlier tonight, and they were saying that that final move was going to be 
uh, kind of the challenging part of it and a real showstopper move. Big, big dynamic movement. So I think he kind of went wrong there a little bit and trying to do a little static. I think he's going to have to do that all in one big movement. Okay, pulling up. He's got one minute. He's got one minute. He didn't, didn't like how it felt there. Okay, pulling on. Got 45 seconds. Hey, okay, making it look easy here. Come on. There you go. Okay, 25 seconds, plenty of time. Opting to go a little more dy uh, static this time. White hasn't maybe gone that beta, but I believe in this kid. Come on, Asher. Here we go. I think he's figured it out. He's got it. Oh. It's got a little replay. Oh. Incredible, incredible attempt there from Asher. Really incredible. Okay, incredible last attempt there from Asher. Here we got, here we got uh, Ariel and Nate Lowe coming out. On the right side there we got Ariel Bokri, a uh, 26 year old hailing from Winnipeg, Manitoba, like most of our climbers here, honestly. Um, except for the couple of uh, Americans we got uh, later on in the lineup. But Ariel, incredible climber, you know, just every time I see her climbing here, it's just she's like climbing the craziest stuff. Um, she uh, very often is, uh, you know, out, uh, out tree planting actually most, uh, most summers, but she's also a, a musician, uh, Bush Lotus is her name. Give her a follow on, the, I think she might be on Spotify, but uh, pretty incredible stuff there. On the left side, we got Nate Lowe, one of the classics of Winnipeg climbing. He has been around forever. We got Ariel just cruising this climb, making it look easy. Nate Lowe taking his time. Ariel at the top. Incredible. Made that look easy. Oh, Nate. Ariel made that climb look easy. Absolutely destroyed uh, women's number one. We got Nate left. He uh, made the was making the climb look a little bit easier from uh, the first uh, for the first two climbers, but uh, that move going on up is uh, tricky. But his foot slipped there a little bit. He's taking a look at it, you know, taking his time. Nate is a super intentional climber. He is a guy that, you know, he he doesn't rush into anything. His shirt there is saying, you're okay. And that's what he's telling himself this whole time. He's just saying, you're okay, you're all right. And he is. He's the coolest guy out there. He's chill. He's calm. All right, he's pulling on again. Like, like I was saying, He's a, he's a calm climber, like this guy is relaxed. And as he moves through this stuff, like, he knows he's got it. He knows he's got it, so he's gonna take his time. Moving through the zone. There we go, Nate climbing. Climbing through it. Okay, he's looking at maybe doing it a little more static. Reaching the hold, but he's got to match it, right? He's got to get it match. Now he's like, he's thinking out there. He's got a minute and a half left, so. There we go. Yeah, you can see him, he's going dynamic. Come on, Nate. 
Oh, not quite enough. I think he's got to fully commit on that one to make that. But we'll see, we'll see. He's got a minute and a half left. He's going to sit there, he's thinking about it. Okay, Nate, um, okay, so Nate opted there. Nate opted there to save his energy, save his time. He didn't think it was gonna be possible another 40 seconds and thought he would save that attempt for another climb. Classic Nate, you know, this guy is super analytical in his climbing. He knows exactly what he's doing when he's out there. Um, and he's gonna save himself for the final climbs. Like, I think he thinks that maybe when he was looking at it earlier that that was not going to be the climb for him. Uh, and so he's happy to get the zone on the first go and, and call it there and save his energy for the final climbs. So a couple seconds here. We got the uh, next set of climbers coming out. All right, we've got, yeah, Ariel coming out from Montreal. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. We should probably, maybe should have put the Quebec flag out there. Uh, okay, so we've got Carly Lowe out and Justice Kelly, uh, both, you know, staples of the climbing community here. Uh, Carly. Uh, quick correction here, Carly Lowe. It's Carly Lowe now. Carly Lowe is climbing. I'm sorry, I thought you said Carly Meyer. Never mind. Nope, I said Carly Lowe because her and Nate just got married this past year. We all love them. Uh, Carly, really nice person, great, great climber. It might be the first time a married couple has climbed. It would have been really great if they were climbing at the same time. Uh, on the other side, we've got Justice. Carly getting the zone. Justice falling off just for it. Carly's still navigating up there, trying to figure it out. She's gonna have to get her right foot up there. It looks like she's got it somewhere. There we go. All right, Jess is still taking his time. Carly just about to go for the, the final hold there. There we go, figuring out her feet. And, and, Come on, Carly. Figure the feet out. You got it. Come on. Justice pulling on again. Still struggling with the first couple moves here. Come on, Carly. Yeah, so she's got to be careful not to touch the purple one because then a judge will call her down on a dab. And so you're not allowed to use any of the holds on the other climbs. Carly just opting to strong, just to just to really just hang off of that final hold. Incredible. All right, now we got Justice climbing. We got Justice climbing here, still struggling on that first part. And like honestly, guys, I I went out on a lot of these climbs. I just tried to pull off of the start, and they're insane. They're hard. So Justice is a is a another one of our uh, vertical adventures climbers here, um, and what I would say he's really known for is the board climbing. He is always on the moon board. He's always posting about it, and he's an absolute beast on the moon board. He's been um, you know posting about it, uh, you know posting on the climbs that he's doing. But he's got this goal of reaching eight A. And he's super close to it. Or maybe he hit it. I can't quite remember. But he, at the end of the day, he's super close. He's, um, yeah, just another one of these incredible climbers out there. Um, also, another fun fact about Justice is that he's really good at yo-yo tricks.
It's actually super cool. So the 0T0 zone, 8-8, eight, eight, means uh, that they have zero tops, so they have not made it to the top of any boulders yet. They're only on the first one, so it's not like we're seeing anyone in dire straits here. In the final minute of climbing here for Justice. Oh, wow. So you'll notice that he, I'll get back to the scoring in a second, but you'll notice that he grabbed onto the zone hold there, but didn't maintain any kind of control on it. So the judges will not award him a zone. So anyways, um, the, the tops mean that there's zero tops, so he's not made it to the top of any boulder yet. Uh, the zone means, the Z means that he's not made it to any of the zones, so that's the pink tape that he's trying to get to. And then the, then the two numbers after that are the uh, top attempts and zone attempts. Uh, and so those are mostly for tiebreakers. Um, but I do also want to remind everybody while the new climbers come out here, that uh, our running kind of score here is 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 not really official. Um, so at the end of this comp, we will adjust all the numbers. We'll adjust all the numbers uh, and make sure that they're correct. So they're kind of good for right now about uh, helping us understand like who's topped what and who's got what zones, but. Um, uh, there may be some discrepancies in the, the top attempts and the zone attempts, so it's a good idea to, uh, to uh, uh, you know, take it with a grain of salt, all right? So don't put too much, uh, don't too much, put too much into it, it'll be mostly right. Alex, really doing that in style. No one else has done that. All right, I guess I gotta talk with the climbers here. Alex Russell. Incredible guy. Um, Alex Russell, one of the craziest climbers I know. Uh, I was new to climbing. I went out to Squamish. First climbing trip, like second climbing trip ever. Come on, Alex. There we go. Oh, not quite enough. Okay. Sarah Herms here on the right side. I'm. I'm all over the place here. Sarah Hearns already got the zone. She's making her way through it and just about to top out. There we go. Sarah making short work of that. Super easy. Uh, super easy for Sarah. I'll, I'll talk about Sarah real quick here while she's walking out and Alex is going up. Uh, so she's a great climber, she's super dedicated, everything she does she puts 110% in. Uh, fun fact, she's also a super, uh, wow, wow, Alex really going for it. I think that that would be the intended beta there uh, for that climb. I think that's the intended beta uh, that the root setters were going for with that climb. There uh, he goes, hopping on again, but uh, just to continue that story from earlier, uh, first climbing trip ever out to Squamish. I literally can climb nothing. And uh, uh, me and my buddies, we all met up with Alex out there. And um, he, was, he was just working on a little project. And he was... Um, uh, he was just doing some casual, you know, burns on uh, on the Big Show out there, uh, which anybody that knows Squamish knows the Big Show. That's incredible. Uh, anyways, as a new climber, super inspiring. This guy's one of the dudes that I've, you know, just seen, you know, five years ago when I started climbing. He's insane. And here we go. He's uh, he's hopping on. He's here. He's ready. He's ready to go all the way for it. Incredible. This guy. I I expect nothing less of Alex. I'm not gonna lie. If uh, if Alex wasn't making it to the end of that one, I would I would have been disappointed. Um, 
he's just such an incredible climber. He's so dynamic, so just dedicated to the you know the cause of climbing. He's uh, he's an incredible guy. Oh, Gian! Uh, if you guys notice, there, Gian Gumpak in the uh, in the chat there. He's our uh, he's the reigning champion on the men's side. So uh, it's an open uh, it's an open field for the climbers here to um, uh, to to make their names known. Uh, Gian, yeah, good good to see you, buddy. Uh, yeah, Gian, the setters, uh, Matt Gain, uh as the head setter. Uh, uh, who else did we have? We had Kyle Bethke as our other setter, uh, Van uh, as our third setter, and then um, I believe from the Hive Vancouver we had a guest setter come in. Uh, I think his name was Chris. I, I actually can't quite remember right now. Um, seemed like a super nice guy. He was featured on the, uh, the Hive Winnipeg uh, Instagram. And we had Sam Hay come out and help uh, forerun. All right, here we go. So we've got our resident Americans coming on out. We got Soria Tapiz and Isabel Shoemaker. So these guys are both from Minnesota. Um, they're both hailing from Minneapolis. They both climb at uh, the Minnesota Boulder Project. Um, and let me tell you, when these guys are some of the strongest climbers I've ever seen, they uh, they came up last year and were insane. I think. Sawyer came second in the men's category, and Isabel blew away the women in the in the in the women category, and was a strong first. So she's she's uh, she's climbing here to protect her title, and Sawyer's climbing here to uh, do what he wanted to do last year. Yeah, Minneapolis Boulder Project representing. Let's go. These got they produce some strong climbers. I was just down in Fargo uh, a few months for the farmer for the Fargo climbing comp at their random gym that they have and uh, I believe Sawyer showed up for it and again he just threw down like he did last year and is just such a strong guy anyways making short work of the zone getting to it on his second attempt I didn't even talk about Isabel there for Isabel that's just a jug ladder for Sawyer that's just a jug ladder what are we even doing Jeremiah, you're on to something. They got something in the water down there in the States. I don't know what's going on, but I want it. All right. I believe that's our first round of climbing. That's our first... Uh, that's the first... Uh, first climb. And so... Um, Incredible climbing already. We got a couple tops on the men's side. We got Sawyer and Alex leading the way in tops. Uh, and then on the women's side, we've got quite a, a tight race already. You know, it only took at most two tries to, to finish the first climb. So so the first climb didn't really separate many, uh, many of the climbers. So we'll have to see, um, we'll have to see uh, how the next climbs go. Alright, so we got a full.
little bit more. I think, we, I think I'm gonna go ask them to turn the mics up a bit. Cause they were like, yeah, we can't hear you guys. We can hear like banter, but it like sounds mumbly. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah. okay, that'd be awesome, yeah. Not that it really matters what we say, but <laughs> yeah. Is that clear than Dan? Yeah. So I'll just ask for you. Okay, it's all. He's gonna go get the mic turned up a little bit. Okay. Nice. That was an exciting first round. First route, I guess. Like, you okay, so we got our climbers coming out for the second one. Sorry about that. A uh, little bit of dead space there. But uh, we were just kind of going over something about the, the scoring that we have going on in the, uh, in the climbing here. So they're all coming out onto our new climbs. We got Hunter coming back out. We got Katie coming back out. First thing they do, you know, brush, brush the holds. And, uh, and then they get going. So they're taking a look here. They're taking their time. You know, it's important not to rush into these things. It's important to uh, important to take a take a quick look and to see what's going on. Okay, Katie hopping on. Hunter moving on. Here we go. Round two. Yeah. So on the men's climb, that hold is downturned. So they're really standing on nothing with that foot. Like that foot is almost nothing. We have Katie making her way up the volumes here. So that volume counts as their zone. So they've got that white piece or yellow piece of tape. Kind of hard to see on the camera there, but that volume that her right hand on is on is the zone hold. So she's been touching it and she's kind of moved around a little bit while she's on it. Like, so right there, that would count as getting the zone. And so she's gotten the zone. And she's really holding on to nothing here. She's looking for that hold that's maybe a little bit higher up that might be just out of her reach. So she might have to get her foot up before and do a bit of a heinous foot switch there. We got Hunter still taking a look. This climb that Hunter is on is hard. All right, Hunter's pulling back on here. Katie just trying to figure it out. Katie getting that foot switch in, and that kind of thing is hard to do. Uh, fun fact about Katie that she's actually hopping on a flight tomorrow morning at five in the morning to go to Toronto for a conference, so she's gonna be tired. There we go. Caitlin just slowly making her way there. They still got two minutes and uh, 50. 52 seconds here on the official time clock. So the one on the stream is maybe a couple seconds off. Hunter still trying to figure out how to get the start going. I think it's got to be quite a dynamic move. Moving that right hand over to that big hold and then the left hand smacking that volume to pre prevent him from uh, swinging out. Hunter, again, one of our young climbers at the Hive here. Um, really, you know, really got a good future ahead of him. Really got a good future ahead of him, and he's just, he's really developed into something great. Like, just, you know, watching him climb as their classes are going on. Like, this guy's really turning into something. Pulling on again. There we go. He tried to get in there for that, slapping that left hand onto the volume to stop that swing, but there's a lot of tension in that move. And when he starts moving, he's just, he's just flying. Katie taking her time on there. You know, one of the nice things about a climb like that is that it's not like, you know, taking out a whole lot of energy every time you go on there. So you can really take your time and really make some deliberate movements. Like getting that left foot up there, that's big. There we go. Stepping up. She's got her left hand there on. And there we 
go. Incredible. Katie taking down another climb. Just, just what we come to expect. All right, 15 seconds left here. I think Conte's gonna call it a day on that climb. That one's tough. Like, I, I, uh, in talking with the the root setters before, uh, I believe Matt Gain was telling me. Let me pull my notes out here. He was saying that, uh, yeah, M2 should be the hardest. So. Uh, these climbers are really in for it, and uh, we should see a lot of struggle. I think getting to that zone hold is going to be real hard. Okay, we got Asher coming out. Ambrosia maybe missed the memo. She was supposed to come out, and now she's out. Asher already pulling on once. Now remember, we gotta watch that They're, the holds are taped for them. So that start hold, he's gotta have two hands on, and then that bottom one, he's gotta get his two feet on. Um, and so Hunter, I think, was running into a couple problems on that last climb uh, because he wasn't tapping his right or his left foot into that start hold, uh, and so he got called down once or twice because he wasn't starting it correctly. Very important that we start the uh, climbs correctly because the the root setters do a good job of making sure the climbers are kind of climbing it in the intended way. So they got a lot of tricks, a lot of tools to make it that way. Same thing on the other side with Ambrosia there. Uh, you'll notice that, you know, she'll go to the wall. She'll, she's got to do kind of a, like a bit of a run up to it. And if she misses all the start holds, that counts as an attempt. So all those times that they run and jump up and fall off, that counts as an attempt. Anytime both their feet leave the both of their feet leave the ground, that counts as an attempt. And so there she just did a quick look back at the judge to make sure that she started it right, and now she's on her way. And again, this one's a super bouncy problem. You know, you really gotta take your time, really gotta look at, you know, make sure that you're in the right spot, but you're really feeling it out correctly. Asher pulling up again. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of tension that you gotta have there. A lot of, uh, you know, that, that hold that you're moving up to on your right hand is not good. That is... Three. Ambrosia working it, figuring it out. Asher stepping back on. Trying something new, thought he maybe could grab the volume. Tough, tough climb there. There we go, Asher touched his foot. Yeah, just a lot of tension in the movement there can be really challenging to uh, control that and to stay on. I think Ash is starting to look at maybe doing like a bit of a foot switch at that time. Like, so when he moves his right foot up, I think he's, or right hand up, he's trying to get his left foot to be the one on the start hold. Really challenging move. Uh, Cause like I said earlier, that, that foot hold is nothing. Like there is not much on there. You're really just hitting it for the friction and it's like slightly more frictiony than the wall, honestly. Going again, yeah. That volume really gives not much to not much to hold on to. Ambrosia again. 
trying to trying to do the squat up to, to get up on top of that volume. Proving to be really challenging. We got about 50 seconds left here. 45 seconds left here to uh, make some sort of progress. At this point, both of these climbers are probably just looking to try to get a zone, you know, get some points for the effort that they put in. Every time they hop on the wall, they lose a little bit of skin, they lose a little bit of energy. Makes things a little bit harder for the end. And, you know, thinking about Nate on that last one, right? He only made two attempts and, and he called it a day. So it's, it's really kind of at this part of the thing here. Asher calling it a day there. I think Ambrosia as well. We're getting getting our next two climbers coming in. We got Nate coming in and we got Ariel coming in. Alright. So we got Nate and Ariel both coming on in to uh, see what they can do with these problems. Both taking their time, Ariel stepping up, Nate still chalking up here. Ariel pulling up. Right. Ariel being able to step up, getting a little bit further than Ambrosia did. Now she's got her hand on there, and you, know, you can see that foot movement that she's doing. That entails that she gets the zone. If she had just put her hand there and did nothing, she wouldn't get the zone until she makes any sort of positive movement off of the hold. So a lot of times these climbers will do kind of like just like these small things, like they don't really need to move their feet around or, but they just want to demonstrate that they have the hold and that they can move off of it because that'll get you the zone. That won't get you the final, you know, top out hold, but that will get you the zone. Nate's still struggling with his first move. He's trying to figure out how to, you know, how to get the opposition that he needs to stand. Ariel making short work of uh, female two, women's two. Putting the knee scum up there, we love that. We love to see it. Uh, climbers using every part of their body to get behind. And she opts to smear on the volume. We love that. She's coming down, big smile. She should be happy. That puts her pretty well, uh, pretty pretty well into contention. Uh, here, half the climb's done. She's gotten two flashes in a row. Uh, she's in a good spot. Nate here gonna have to pull something out to uh, to really, you know, stay in contention here. We got two tops from uh, the other climbers. Nate's going to really need something here to uh, stay in contention for that first place. Yeah. So the big problem that the climbers are having here is that the left foot just barn doors out. You can see that big swing, and it's torquing them off of the holds. So they're going to have to do something uh, to figure out how to, how to stay on the holds there. I think earlier Asher with trying to do that foot switch beta might have been the right way to do it, but I don't know. There's a lot of movement here that's hard to control. Oh, Nate going a little slower, trying to switch it up. Okay. Nate really trying to do kind of what's called a dead point where you kind of just lock off on that first hold and then just stretch your right arm out. You know, John, not trying to put a lot of his body into it, not trying to enter, uh, bring in a lot of the um, uh, motion into the climb. Uh, so that way it might be a little easier to control when he tries to move off of it. Hey, uh, uh, just to talk to the chat there, just a quick question of like, what devices you guys are using uh, just to, uh, 
uh, just seeing what people are watching the stream on, you know, your phone, your iPod, uh, iPad, you know, laptop, just curious. Nate was crushing this morning. This guy is insane. He's an absolute monster. Um, I love watching this guy climb. Ooh, really looked like he was about to rein it in there. But again, that swing just proving a lot for these climbers right now. Um, seems like these men's climbs are quite difficult. Um, and considering that these guys all were climbing in the qualifiers earlier today, um, which it was an open field. I was trying to make a prediction of who was going to maybe make it into the finals today. And there was like 20, you know, I, I have like 20 climbers written down here of like who might make it. You know, there's just like the talent in Winnipeg is so strong right now. Um, it's incredible. We all love Nate. We love to see this guy. We all like to see him win, you know. He's one of the nicest guys in the gym, everywhere. I climb a full grade higher, harder when he's around. It's He just brings it out. All right, we got Justice and Carly out. Justice pulling on here, ready to hopefully make short work of this one. We'll see. Carly's still looking. Oh, I'm telling you guys, this foothold is difficult. Like, this, this foothold on the start is nothing. Wow. Okay, Justice was able to really... Justice was really able to actually finally grab onto that hold. We haven't really seen anybody demonstrate any kind of control on that, so that's big. There we go. Carly pulling on as well. Justice loading up. You can see that Justice is trying to kind of do a bit more of the dead point there instead of, um, you know, th this guy actually has a ridiculous ape index. So he's got the reach to make it without adding a lot of energy into the equation there. Carly just taking her time there on that climb. You know, really got to just relax, take your time. Justice. Incredible. It, it's proving that that move might just be the crux of the climb. Like, might just be the crux. In, insane. But even when you make it, moving after that is just hard. Like, Jeremiah at that plus one ape index. Real nice to have the long reach. There we go. Come on, Justice. Oh. No, I think Justice might have something like a plus three or, or something. I don't know. The guy's insane. Like I said, very good climber. I, I, I climbed an open this morning. I think I came last. All right, Carly's hopped back on for I think her second, uh, uh, her second attempt here. Carly, not originally from Winnipeg, although she lives there now, just a couple streets down from me. But she's originally hailing from Gondor, Manitoba, not Gondor, Gondor. Jess is going for that move again. Carly at the zone there. Incredible movement from Carly there. Making it to that zone, taking her time. We have a minute and a half left here. So the, there we go, Justice, come on. Get that foot switch in. Incredible. Can he? Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, part of the unfortunate part of climbing is, and competitive climbing is just that you can put so much effort into it and none of this really matters. 
unless he gets the zone. Um, that's kind of the, the, the harsh reality of it. Unless he gets the zone, nothing he did earlier matters. So for Justice, he's putting a lot of effort into this um, to potentially make the zone. So so as long as uh, as long as he can make the zone, it's worth it. But you got to ask yourself, is it, is it worth it if you're not getting the zone or the top? And could you have better yet left your... Uh, could you have better yet left your energy and your skin, importantly, you know, important for a grip, for, you know, the next two climbs? There we go. Carly. Making it through women's two. Now she's got about 13 seconds to figure this out so that she can make it to the final. To the final hold. Oh. See an absolute heartbreaker for Carly on the right side there. Just not quite able to, to pull it out there on the slab. Still got the zone, still got some valuable points that are, that are good, but you know, it's gonna be hurting in a tight race. All right, we got Alex making this look easy. We got Alex Russell on the left, Sarah Herms on the right. Sarah hasn't hopped on yet, has been taking her time out. Yeah. Uh, you guys will probably have noticed, or well, from me talking and giving kind of the times, well, there's about a bit of a 10 second delay. It seems like our timer might be. No, 10 seconds more. Oh yeah, sorry. Our 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 time is 10 seconds more. So so they're actually at four minutes right now, and it just said four eleven four ten. So just keep that in mind. We'll try to keep you updated on what the change is, and we might reset the clock at one point. Um, but Alex Russell coming out, making that first move look pretty, not too bad. I don't know, he still fell off of it, but uh, looking pretty good. And so we'll see that the judge just came out there to let him know that he didn't tap his feet. So he's got to demonstrate control in the start holds. And so you can put three points on and then tap your fourth point on. Uh, and that's generally okay. Um, but there, I think he maybe got a little ahead of himself there. Uh, and had to get called down. Good he got called down now and didn't, you know, make the zone or something and have to get all that taken away. Sarah hopping back on. Sarah hopping on, taking her time. Judge came out again for Alex. There we go, he tapped his feet, he's good. Sarah really taking her time. On that climb, it's all about how it feels, how it, how it is. You know, there's really not much that they're going off of. There we go. Sarah getting the zone. Alex, ooh, not quite enough tension there. Yeah, commentator's curse. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have said he was flying through it. Sarah, you know, just puzzling her way through it. We have about two minutes, 10 seconds left. Alex, finally, making it there. Is he gonna get the zone? That's big, that's really big. Still struggling, still struggling. Fighting his way through. Wow. That's incredible. That firmly puts Alex Russell in the lead there. Nobody else making that zone and Alex getting it is big. Question is, did he spend too much energy? Did he you know, lose too much skin going for it? He's got a minute and a half left. He's got a minute and a half left um, uh, to, to, to finish this climb. Uh, and get the top. We have Sarah. Oh, Sarah coming off just before the finishing hold there. 
Um, she's probably going to take a minute there to quickly think about you know what she's got to do, what she needs to make uh, to get to the finish hold there. Um, she's got one more attempt probably left in her. It's a quite a tenuous kind of like you know a bit of a bit of a balance problem there. So it takes a little bit of time. So this will probably be her last attempt. Alex maybe has you know two attempts left. We're at 45 seconds. Wow. Right behind me, Alex has a huge crew cheering for him. All right, we got, uh, we're just at 15 seconds now. So we're full, like, about 15 seconds. Yeah, they're 15 seconds behind. Thanks for the shout out, Josh. We, uh, I didn't see you climbing today. I was, uh, I was thinking you should be here in the finals with all these guys, you know? All right, so we got our resident Americans here. We got Sawyer. Isabel is actually a Canadian. Uh, I think, believe she said she lived most of her life in Vancouver. I could be wrong on that one, but her mom is actually from Morden, Manitoba. Uh, so shout out to Morden Chocolates, they're pretty good. Uh, but again, Isabel looking comfortable, looking cool, calm. Making it making it short work to get to that uh, to get to that zone. Sawyer Sawyer looking confident confident as well. Uh, he had an early blow off, but now he's uh, well on his way to make it to the zone. Getting the zone, making it to that next hold. Wow. This is uh, uncharted territory for the men's side. Isabel actually fell off on that last climb. Uh, uh, so she'll have to, to go again. She got the zone on the first go, which is really important for her. Now she's gonna be looking at how can she make it to the how can she make it to the last uh, how can she make it to the last uh, hold there. Sawyer did a big throw to the final hold, but I think he's going to need a little bit more touch to make it. I uh, have to kind of figure out his feet a little bit more. I don't think that hold is quite good enough for him to just throw to. But then again, I came last in open, so what do I know? All right, Isabel. Moving that foot up. That is a tight move. You gotta have some real hip flexibility to make it onto that foot, and then to generate power off that foot. That is inc like that can be a really hard move uh, uh, for some people. So, proving to be a bit of a challenge there. Sawyer still taking a break, taking his time. He's got uh, our timer has been updated, so uh, it does look like it's correct. Um, but as it goes on, we might have to just like reset it because it seems like it's off by a couple milliseconds. <laughs> All right, we got the USA chant from the crowd coming out for Sawyer and Isabel. USA! 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 All right, Sawyer setting up for the final move here. Oh. All right, Isabel getting back to the crux of this climb. Getting that foot switch in. Challenging, challenging foot switch. This is for you and In this lull, I just want to give a big, you know, again, shout out for everyone who helped put on the stream it was kind of like Henry called me a couple of weeks ago and he said that you know it's really the he's putting together the Avengers and he really did all right we got both climbers hopping back on here we got a minute 10 left um, 
Minute 10 now. Going back on, both of them looking to try to figure out the final bits of this puzzle. Oh. Alright, Sawyer making that throw. Not really sure what he's going to need to do to make it uh, uh, to the end there. Alright. We got both climbers taking a quick minute here. We got 40 seconds left. All right, both climbers pulling back on here. I we got ten seconds left. Five seconds. Oh, good effort from both climbers there. You know proven to be really challenging. Um, I think it's a real testament to how strong Sawyer is. Like, he made it further than anybody did, and he did it about four or five times, trying to make it to the final day. Yeah. yeah. Now we got, now we're, uh, we're done with climb two. We're on to uh, women's three and men's three. Our third climb of the night. We have one climb left after this. We have Katie Roy coming back out and Hunter Gudmundson coming back out uh, to see what they can do with these problems. Hunter pulling on. He got the touch in there, so he's got a good clear start. Falling off a little, a uh, little soon, a little sooner than he'd like, I'm sure. We got Katie pulling back on. Looks like we've got another kind of tricky, kind of balancey kind of problem on the on the women's side. Looks real crimpy. Uh, when I talked to uh, the root setters yesterday uh, for women's three, it seemed uh, they said that this would be the hardest one for the women. Uh, it's on insanely bad crimps, all of the holds on the women's climb. You can see how small they are, but they literally have millimeters that they're pulling on. Um, they are small holds in size and just small holds also in depth. Um, and then as I move through kind of like that start bit, it just goes from worse feet to worse feet to like that crazy slopey bit uh, on the one big hold. Um, it's not much reprieve for them. So that's going to be a challenge for them. Uh, on the men's side, uh, M3, it's tenuous. That's all I wrote down. It's just they got to take it slow they're on small holds um on each of those big long kind of triangular uh purple volumes they have a couple screw-ons on them or at least on the bottom one but they are tiny they are razor blade holds and so that's why it looks like hunter here is kind of struggling a little on the start is those holds are nothing with katie pulling back on Got Hunter taking another look, sitting down, trying to see, uh, trying to see what's going on here. <laughs> we uh, we put a little bit of a pause on the. Uh, uh, essentially, uh, with the scores, we're kind of for each round, we'll try to reset them. Uh, we just uh, realized we maybe had a little bit of a problem in how it was kind of set up with our program that we kind of wrote for it. Uh, so we just didn't want to um, kind of mislead the viewers here in, uh, in what was going on. Uh, but we got Katie pulling up off the start holds there. Uh, she's finally starting to get into the climb a little bit. Uh, uh, but again, you know, so slabby, so crimpy. Uh, gonna have to really take our time here. Hunter also making some positive movement here. Katie's going for that. 
Katie made it to the zone. She's moving her feet around, so that is going to count as positive movement. And so she, um, so she will get awarded that. So she'll get awarded that zone. And here she goes. She's continuing on. Hunter pulling back up. This is big for Katie. This is what Katie needs to stay in uh, contention. She'll need to figure that out. That is a that like millimeters thick, like so small. Incredible effort from Katie there. Uh, we got jo uh, Hunter uh, hopping back on. He's starting to figure out how to get the start here. Hunter's starting to figure it out, but I mean, he's still like that's a big move to that zone hold. Um, and sometimes, you know, as these climbers, it's kind of a scary thing when you see how close the zone hold is to the top. That means you got to do a lot of climbing, and then that means that when you hit the zone, you have about half of the climb left to go. So, even on men's three, if you were to hit that third, if you are to hit that zone, you still have to do a massive move to make it to the final hold uh, to get the full points there. All right, we have Ambrosia coming out. We have Hunter out as well. Both of them taking a look. Asher coming on up, pulling up off. Got the start. So you can see that Asher is hanging on. Wow. Okay, Asher making the making the start look maybe not too bad. Again, when I say not too bad, not too bad for them. Really hard for us normal people, us regular Joes out there. This stuff is insane what these guys are trying. Ambrosia taking a look at the at the start here. Um, trying to figure out what the balance points are. The climb like that, she's gotta start with all four points on that gray volume. And so she's got to come up, get all her feet off the ground, and then, and then pull up and then move. Demonstrating control. Asher pulling off the ground. Okay. Getting onto that. He's looking strong. He's looking confident. He moving on up. Now the hard part is here that that whole, that whole. Um, uh, those two volumes where they make the zone hold, uh, they're kind of split in the middle and they got to figure out where they need to put their hands into that. It could be the bottom, it could be the middle, the top, wherever works, but from the ground, you don't really know what the best spot is. So it's really cryptic. Ambrosia still trying to figure out the start here. Yeah. So Chris, one of our judges, just went up and let her know that she can't touch the other volumes to get started. Asher making the move to the zone. He's looking comfortable. He's got about two minutes, 40 seconds uh, left here. So uh, the stream is behind a couple seconds here from the actual timer, just to let you know. Yeah, we'll just have to reset the uh, clock every now and then because it's just off by a couple milliseconds. All right, Asher pulling up, Ambrosia coming on in. She's figuring out the start. Asher going for the zone here, winding up. Again, that's tough. Like, yeah, thanks for that, Carrie. Uh, there's a few times where uh, I'll be climbing in the gym, I'll be on one end of it, and I can hear Ambrosia on the other side cheering on the other swarms, going, yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy. You know, she'll be the first person to cheer on everybody. Uh, incredible, incredible climber. She's been a top climber um, for, for a while now in Winnipeg. She made it to the finals last year, uh, but unfortunately had to drop out when she uh, had a bit of an injury um, on her first or second climb. So it's really good to see her out here uh, climbing and giving it her all.
Yeah, um, yeah, Ambrosia uh, attending youth nationals, uh, representing Manitoba well. Uh, same thing uh, at youth regionals too. Asher uh, scored the highest of all Manitobans at bouldering nationals this past November, which is um, not a small thing. I went to bouldering nationals a couple years ago uh, with Tyler Wong. And he is one of the strongest climbers in Manitoba. Didn't climb in the competition this year, you know, dealing with a couple things, you know, life's real busy for him. Um, and he didn't get a single zone at that um, at nationals. And so Asher heading out there, uh, incredible Manitoban representative. Same thing with Ambrosia. Honestly, uh, uh, great kids, and honestly, represent the future of all this. This is Asher's first finals at Honeydale. Uh, this is Ambrosia's second. So expect to see more of these people in the future. If not, climbing for, uh, climbing and representing Manitoba next year as well. All right, we got Nate and we got Ariel coming out to see if they can uh, make short work of uh, of uh, climb number three. All right, Nate taking a look, pulling off. Ariel still taking her time there. Oh, Nate dry firing off that, looking at his hands like, what just happened? That's how much tension he's got going through there. Ariel still trying to figure out how to get off the start there. She's gone started, moving her feet around. Just got to pull up that last leg. Yeah, that's a tight spot to be in. And they can only use that volume to get started. They can't put any hand or anything on the other volumes. They can touch the wall, but they can't touch the other volume. Hey, Nate pulling back on. There we go. Crowd cheering Nate on. A lot of tension. So much tension. He's got to figure out a way to push through that to get some positive movement so that he can make it to that zone. But like I said, once they hit that zone, that's like half the climb. They still got another half to go. Ariel still trying to kind of puzzle her way through the beginning here. Uh, still trying to figure out how exactly she'll uh, she'll make it through that uh, that start. So far, I believe only Katie is the only one who has been able to make it through that zone. Uh, and like I said, we'll try to get an update on scoring maybe after this round. Um, we just had a small problem with the uh, with the app that we had uh, going there. All right, Ariel pulling back on, trying to trying to figure out how to make it through that. Ariel is one of our taller climbers here, so. Um, Making it through that kind of move might prove to be pretty challenging. Nate switching up his beta. That might be what he needs to do to get through that. That looked really good. Um, if he was able to get anything positive off that. Um, he still has about a minute and uh, 52 seconds left here. Nate going with his alternate beta here. That might be the key. Come on, Nate, let's do it. Oh, dry firing once again. Just taking a look. Nate always got a smile on his face. Nate always with a smile on his face. Always uh, 
always the happiest guy in the gym there. Uh, you know, just just here to have a good time, honestly. Just here to have fun. Uh, that's what we like about him. I went with him on a trip to Fargo, the Fargo climbing competition, and, you know, even missing finals, he's still just the happiest guy to be there. Loves climbing, loves it all. There we go. All right, Nate opting to save his energy and his skin for the final go. Nobody's gotten the zone here yet, so if uh, you know the next up men uh, can hit the zone, uh, that'll give them a significant edge over the rest of the climbers. Same thing with Ariel here. If she can hit this zone, that will be quite a significant edge that she can get uh, over the rest of the climbers. Uh, but it looks like she's gonna. Uh, Opt to yeah, save her energy and uh, move on. Yeah. All right, we got Jesses and Katie, or sorry, Carly coming out. Got Jesses and Carly. Both looking to make their mark here. Jesses pulling on, getting the start. See, he got the start, and then he's able to drop down. You don't always, you don't need to use the start holds. You can just pull on them, uh, demonstrate control on the start holds, and then do whatever you want after that. It doesn't matter, as long as you don't dab, touch any of the other, uh, the other colored holds. Carly trying to puzzle her way through the start here. This round really proving to uh, stump the climbers here, but. Maybe as we get deeper into the running order, we might uh, see some more tops, some more zones. <laughs> Justice making some positive movement there, trying to figure it out. We're at about Carly able to start the hold, start the climb. Uh, we got 350 left. So uh, in true Winnipeg, Manitoba fashion, we had a, a community member here just bring us some uh, some chicken nuggets here in the broadcast booth. Uh, much appreciated. All right, back to commentating. <laughs> All right, Jess is pulling on here. Let's see if he can make some movement. There we go, Justice. Come on, man. Oh. Looking to heel hook that start hold. That's interesting. We haven't seen any climbers do that yet. Oh, thank you. We haven't seen any he climbers uh, heel hook. We haven't seen anybody heel hook the start yet, but. Um... Okay, Carly. Take a look at Carly here. Going face out to the crowd. Going face out to the crowd. Trying to see if that might work. That was actually, uh, when I first got here in this afternoon, it was the intended beta was that they were gonna have to do a face out kind of move to start the climb. Uh, the climb went through a lot of iterations after that. Um, a lot of these climbs were actually like heavily modified up to uh, the climb starting. And Carly just, actually figured out kind of maybe a bit of a break there to get the climb started had to look back at the judge to see if that was le legal judge nodded yes so carly trying to figure her way through it justice is pulled justice pulled up oh still proving to be a struggle to get through those moves oh carly coming off but is in a much better spot, has kind of figured out how to get the start and is potentially on her way to, uh, to making the zone. You guys will probably have noticed um, a couple of extra people running onto the mats every now and then. Uh, the guy in green there is Danny. Uh, he's one of our photographers, really talented guy. 
Uh, you might have seen Garrett Fash running around with a camera doing video. Uh, there's also Matt Sawatsky. He's the one with the umbrella. The crowd really loved uh, Matt last year with the umbrella. So, anyways, Carly trying to get it, trying to get it going, trying to get it figured out. Uh, and then you'll notice also that we have these two cameras. We've got camera one on Carly. We've got camera two on Justice. And then we have this third camera that's been going around, uh, getting kind of the, the 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 action shots of everybody. And that's been uh, controlled by Aaron, really talented guy, uh, doing a really good job out there, getting 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 the up close and personal shots. There we go. All right, Carly, getting started. She's got 30 seconds here. Oh, falling off. Justice still going, still out there. Remember, we're on the third climb, so they've only got one climb left uh, to, um, they only got one climb left. Uh, so they're kind of getting into that make or break point. Like they, they, need to get, uh, they need to get these climbs in. All right, we've got Alex Russell coming out and Sarah Herms. And Alex Russell, I feel like this will be a climb that really suits his style from what I've seen him climb. Uh, same thing with Sarah Hearns. She's really good at kind of these like balling up and getting into these small spaces and uh, really making it work. Alex looking strong, looking comfortable on the, the first couple moves here. In a position to go for the, the zone. Loaded up. Insane. Made the zone. First attempt. Incredible. This is really a battle between Alex and Sawyer at this point. Everybody fighting for third. Alex and Sawyer going for first. Alex trying to just reach out. Oh! Not quite enough. I bet he wishes he was just an inch or two taller <laughs> to, to make that reach there. Sarah's still trying to figure out the start here. You know, like I said before, it really takes, you know, finding out the balance points, trying to figure out where she can fit, where, you know, how she can, you know, stand on that volume, because that's tough. Um, just to stand on it, like, it might be hard to see on the stream, but it's not, you know, flat by any means. Um, she's trying to do her the best she can to get her rubber down, the rubber of her shoes onto the holds there, onto the volume, so that she can get the generate the most friction and uh, uh, stay, uh, and to you know stay on it, so that she can get her hands onto something positive. And even then, those those hands are are millimeters thick. They're cutting into her fingers every time. She's using up skin. All right, we have Alex pulling on again. Looking strong, looking good. There we go. He's looking calm and cool. You can see him shaking a little bit. And that's just how much tension is in there. One of the things too, is that none of these climbers really know what their score is. So they don't know if, you know, if the climber before them really got the zone or even topped it. They can kind of tell maybe by listening to the crowd. Uh, they can maybe tell by listening to the crowd, uh, their reaction. So like maybe Alex will have heard the crowd go crazy when he got the zone. So he might know that, hey, maybe I'm the only guy who's got the zone. But they're really not too sure. Here we go, we got Alex going up again to go for the zone. Sarah's still trying to figure out that start. That zone hold proven to be hard, proven to be tough to get to. And then the more times he goes, the the more uh, energy he's losing and the harder it gets. Sarah taking a moment there, figuring out her breath, figuring out how she wants her feet. Alex is loading up. Mm. Getting to that zone proving to be really difficult. 
He made it look very easy on his first attempt. Um, and that attempt is going to be, like, the fact that he got it on his first try is going to be massive. Just remember that, like, um, tops and zones matter more than the attempts. So um, as long as they're getting the zones in and the tops in, it matters. Um, the, so they're incentivized to take as many, you know, tries as they can uh, to get this. Um, they don't want to stop ever just because they're taking too many attempts or whatnot. They want to keep going uh, to try to get, you know, the actual tops, the actual zones, all that. Alex going again. Sarah still struggling on that start. Katie made it look real easy, and the rest of the climber is struggling on it. Here we go. All right. Alex Russell with the only zone left, uh, the only zone on the, the third climb. That's going to be huge, and setting him apart from the other climbers, it'll be rem it'll remain to be seen if the if Sawyer can replicate that, and we also have Isabel uh, looking out. Uh, we got Isabel on the left side here. We got Sawyer looking calm, looking cool, going right up. Wow, going static. You see how he's moving his hand along there. He got that heel into, so he's got the zone easy. And it looks like he's just, wow, Sawyer, this kid is strong. Didn't get the finish there, but we just watched five climbers struggle on this, and Sawyer just showed up and made it look like the easiest thing in the world. So I think this, might, I think this guy might got it. Isabel also managed to figure out how to get through the start Also figuring out how to get through the start, making her way to the zone, got her hand on the zone. Now she's moved her feet around, she's moved her hands around, so she's got that. Um, so her and Katie are the only two to make it this far. Isabel is gonna really wanna be able to finish this um, because then that will then put her ahead of Katie. And we love that. We love a back flag. We love that. You can see on the replay there, she did what's called a back flag, and that's where you take your, uh, that's where you like take your foot and like move it out behind you. I don't even know how to explain it, but there she had her left foot like behind. Usually when you do what's called flagging, it's kind of in front of your feet and stuff like that, but. Uh, yeah, that was cool. That was really cool. And now here we go. We got Sawyer. We got the single. We got the single climber out. Everybody watching him. All the pressure. Look at that. Just moving so smooth. This guy is strong. There we go, Sawyer. <laughs> yep. I don't need to say anything. Sawyer is strong, and there we go. Every time they finish, they get to walk through the crowd, uh, which is really great. So for a moment like that, you know, you get to really bask in it for a minute. Uh, Sawyer, just uh, an insane climber. You might have noticed that he got his lift hand on the final there. He got his feet set up, and he even hesitated in putting his right hand up there, just really showing how in control he was how in control he was that whole time.
he knows that that was big. He knows that was a big climb. Uh, that shot there was just of all the root setters. You know, it's a really tough job for these guys to, you know, be able to set climbs that are fair and that work for everybody. Um, you know, we've got climbers who are tall, short, big wingspan, small wingspan. Um, this is one of the years where actually the, the caliber of climbers has been very even. Um, in some years we get like a really big disparity and so we want to you know be able to set things so that you know everybody can go out there and you know even participate in it and not like you know be like me where I go out there and I can barely hold on to the start holds of all of these um, so those guys put a lot of time and effort uh, and dedication into uh, making the setting uh, for these climbs really good all right, so in about five seconds here, we got Hunter and Katie coming on out. Uh, for the guys here, uh, they've got a slab. Um, terrible feet, terrible everything. If you climb and you know slab, you know that slab is awful. If you're like me, you love slab. I love it a lot. I love climbing it outside. It's scary, but most people hate it. Probably these guys too. Uh, We've got Katie stepping on to uh, women's four. And what I got written down here from talking to Matt Gain, the uh, head root setter, is that this is the crowd pleaser. This is a big... We got a, we got a big moves coming up, and we're going to see some women go flying on the wall here. So uh, hopefully we get to see some people uh, really excel at this climb. We've got Hunter pulling off those starts. We got Hunter pulling off the start there. Oh, almost blew off there. Come on, on down. So on Katie's last attempt there, you saw that she really had to move dynamically to that first hold, but she's going to have to... She's going to have to go up to it, use the momentum from that first hold to swing her to that next one. You see her reaching up? She's going to have to put a lot more energy and a lot more you know, kinetic force into that jump so that she can make it to that second one, which is a really good hold. If she can get to that second hold, it's really good. But, you know, there we go. She's getting it dialed in. And a reminder, they're all on their last climb here. So there's nothing left after this. So they have every incentive to get as far as they can and climb as hard as possible. Okay, Katie loading up. Hunter taking another look there. Hunter still taking a look. They got about three minutes left. Katie loading up again. Hunter taking another look. Katie loading. Wow! See, the crowd here can really appreciate the difficulty of it, and they can see every time her getting closer by millimeters every single time. Katie loading up again. Hunter going, pulling off. Oh. She is so close. If she can get a millimeter further, she'll get some more positive action there and get it. Hunter really trying to take that one high. I think he might need to rework that beta a little bit. Maybe go a little bit lower. Actually use it. Oh and maybe use that thing that he's going to with his foot, maybe as a hand, I don't know. I came last and open, I know nothing.
We're down to one minute. One minute for our contestants. All right, both climbers climbing back on. Katie loading up. Oh, almost. She just needs to generate a little bit more force. Not sure how she's going to do that, but she's got to. She's in the last 35 seconds of the climb. Ow! She's going to do it exactly like that. Come on, Katie. She's got this. Hunter pulling on for the last time, maybe a second last time. We'll see. Okay, this is it. They got nothing left. Oh. Come on, Katie, one more go. She's got time for one more go. Oh, okay. Not able to get the zone there, but a brilliant attempt nonetheless. And we got uh, we got Ambrosia and Asher coming up for their last climb. Okay, so we got the. We got Asher hopping on, seeing if he can figure out how to make it through the slab. Big part of slab climbing is like not that it's like very physically intense, but it requires a lot of um, you know puzzling out, slow movement. Ambrosia really opting for a static way of going about this. Wow! Insane, Ambrosia. Loving it. She's going all the way. Here we go. Yeah. You love to see it. Oh my god. You love to see that. She's out in front of everybody flexing right now on everyone. Ambrosia with the absolute beta break. Oh my. That was incredible. I hope everybody saw that because that was crazy. Uh, she got halfway through that climb. She flexed on everybody and they knew, she knew she got that. All right, we got Asher trying to figure it out. Haven't had a whole lot of success here on figuring out the on figuring out the beta. There he is, kind of turning that. All right, we got Asher here. I wish we could re yeah. I wish we could uh, replay that beta break there. That was uh, incredible stuff. Asher getting the getting the brush boy to figure it out there. Clean it up for him. Uh, the the chalk on the holds actually really presents like a big issue sometimes for climbers. So you really gotta, um, especially on like holds like that start hold, you can get really gummed up with chalk and doing a little brush can actually make it really feel really good. There we go. We got Asher here on the action cam. All right, Asher is actually uh, electing to uh, call it a day. Doesn't think he can get much further there. Uh, 
Slav is killing them right now. Killed the women, killed the men. It's killing everybody. In the last minute here, look at that. Big shout out to the everybody helping uh, run this competition from the root setters to the judges to the uh, people brushing holds, uh, people taking pictures, people taking video, people in the crowd. Uh, this is a, a big production, requires a lot of moving parts, a lot of people. Um, this stream itself is an insane amount of work. Um, Henry likened it to having a third job. Uh, he would be texting me at like 11 at night about ideas and things that we could do. He's like, oh yeah, you know, we got instant replay. We got, you know, uh, uh, we got picture in picture. We got, you know, three cameras. We got all this stuff. All right. Anyways, big shout out to everybody. Slab did not kill Katie. You are right. She cruised it. Um, we got Nate and Ariel coming out for their final climbs. Ariel, okay. Maybe the beta break is just going to be the beta. Got a heel hook in there too. Pushed up on the volume. Making short work of it. She's going to have to release that heel. Easy. There we go. Flash attempt from Ariel here. Those pinches are quite difficult. They're quite wide. Here we go, matching that top pinch. Oh. Tough. Remember, we're on the final climb here of this huge day for these climbers. Some of them climbed five, six, seven tough climbs to make it here. They're at the end of a huge day. I climbed two hard climbs this morning and couldn't do anything else and I'm still tired. So the fact that these guys are still going is an incredible testament to how strong they are and how talented they are at climbing. Got Nate low, still kind of struggling on the bottom part like all the rest of the guys. Ariel doing that big swing. We love it. We love that kind of swing. Nate hopping off. Ariel going for the final moves here. There we go. Huge smile. She should be proud. Incredible climbing. Did great. Great final climb from Ariel there. That's going to be big for her. We'll, uh, we'll try to get an update on the scores, but... There we go. Nate is great. Nate is great. The crowd loves Nate. We all love Nate. How can you not love him? He's got two and a half minutes here left. Looks like he's making some okay process, but you know he's standing there. He's telling himself, "You're okay. You're okay, Nate. You're good. You're good. You got this." Nate's pulling back on. Nate's pulling back on. <laughs> Making it through. Okay, all right, that's positive. Some positive movement there for him. All right, apparently we got 100 of you guys in the watching here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to hear something from you guys here. I feel like I'm talking to myself here. I just got a text uh, from Hunter saying, nice commentating. Good to see you, Hunter. We need to know you guys are here for Nate. Just pulling back up. Okay, Nate, look at that. He's looking good, he's looking good. Oh, he's got one minute to hit that zone. That's gonna be a big, 
for him to hit that zone, that'll be big in uh, determining standings later. Just because of how little, uh, how little um, we've gotten from the guys on these climbs. Nate, hyping them up, get them going. Uh, hey, Jeremy. Hey, Liv. How you doing? All right, here we go. He's got 36 seconds left here. You guys are about a second behind on the clock. Okay, Nate's got one more go. No, he's got one. Oh. All right, he's calling it a day there. That's right, Mark. Death by dual attacks. That foot that he was putting his foot on is nothing. There's nothing there. All right, in 10 seconds, we got Carly and Justice going. All right, here we go. They're turning, looking at the climbs, and here we go. So it's looking like women's four is going to be one that they're all going to have to hit if they're going to want to stay in contention for the finals or for, for winning. This is, the, this is it. This is the last climb. And for the men, it seems like hitting the zone here and going further is going to be massive. This is going to create some huge separation in the rankings. Carly going for the press into the volume. Going static, looking strong. Carly going up for the final hit here. In the final moves of her competition. She needs this. Just working her feet, digging it out. Here we go. And she's got it. Carly with a huge top. Again, we're gonna have to take another look at what the scores stand at. Uh, to see where she ends up placing. We got Nate running over to her already. He's already grabbed a beer from Barnhammer. This guy's ready to hang out, celebrate. He's over, he's done competing. But you know who's not done competing? Justice. Here we go. Justice in his road to 8A. This is a big, big milestone for him. Making the finals. Alright, Justice taking his time, looking at it. Look at how unpositive that hold is. You are just smearing your hands on top of it. There's nothing there. That's tough. Just chalking up again. You know, a lot of times when people are chalking up, it's mostly just to kind of give themselves a break, force themselves to take some time in between their reps. But here we go, Jess is pulling back on. Look at how hard just the start move is. I don't think that can be stressed enough. Honestly, Mark, I think you might be right with that. Starting that climb seems like a crux. <laughs> I'm getting some people around me agreeing with me here. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't even actually try this one because it looked stupid. <laughs> it looked hard. Um, but you know what? These guys are like 10 times the climbers I am. So they... Uh... All right. Here you go. He's got a minute and a half left. A minute and 30 right now. They're about three seconds behind. Trying to figure it out. Remember, we got Alex Russell and Sawyer DePees coming out after. So we'll have to see uh, how these guys can do.
but I believe in justice. As we all should. Alright, here we go. Off and on again. Last minute of play here. 50 seconds left. He's got 50 seconds to show everybody that he's well on the way to 8A. Here we go, Justice. Last, last 30 seconds here. All right, he's calling it a day there. Excellent climbing from Justice. He'll be hitting 8A right away. Tech 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 Ten stews equal one, uh, one Justice. I've climbed about B4 on slab, so uh, I'll, you know I could take it. This is probably like a six or a seven here. All right, we got Sarah Hearns and Alex Russell coming on out for their last climb, ready to go. Let's see what they can do. Alex jumping on there with confidence, making short work of that start. Looking good, looking confident. It's really between him and Sawyer here for that top spot. Sarah pressing into that volume. Alex putting his foot on that dual tax. That is nasty. Sarah taking her time. Alex coming off. Sarah taking her time. Feel it looking good. There we go. Sarah got some chalk in her eye, just taking a second here to get it out. Looking cool, confident. You know, why not take the chalk out of your eye in the middle of a climb? Just shows you how strong she is. Alex hopping back on. And Sarah just taking her time. Cool. Who cares if you got chalk in your eye? Sarah doesn't. <laughs> I can see her. <laughs> I can see her right now. She's saying, I got chalk in my eye. I got chalk in my eye. She's still trying to get it out. <laughs> still did the climb. All right. Now we get to all just focus right in on Alex. Alex reaching out for that hold. That is a reach. Oh, coming down. Now we're getting the live camera on him here. He's taking another look at it. My favorite thing about the V4 slab was when Garrett, the cameraman in the corner there in the white, the one on the left, couldn't get it. Just have to throw that little shout out there for him. Here we go. We got Alex hopping back on. Walking his feet across. Super tenuous, super hard. Just awful feet this whole way through. Got about two minutes here. Minute 55 right now, so we're about three seconds behind on the clock. Yeah. All right. Alex going for another climb here, going for another attempt. Making his way across. All right, okay, get, wow, interesting beta there. Trying to get that left foot onto those little tiny chips there. You can see that there's like two kind of holds there. So I think the intention is that like you use the bottom one and then the top the top hold there is actually blocking it. So it's probably, I think it's dual text on the top. 
so that if your foot goes on it, you just slip. So if you miss your foot, you come right off. Alex entering into his last minute of climbing here. Last minute of climbing at Honey Dill Style 2024. Let's see where he can end off. I can't remember what position he finished in last year, but if we know Alex, he's always a competitor. He's always a top climber. He's always come out to perform. This guy is going to go to the end. You got it, Alex. 20 seconds. Clock has been updated. Okay, that zone. Looking tough. Seems like that zone might even be like a double move. All right, that'll be the end of climbing for Alex Russell. Firmly in the first and second position right now, I believe. And we got our last climbers coming on out. We got Isabella rocking the pit vipers. I gotta fix the camera there. We missed that. She put the pit vipers on. She is ready to go. She's ready to send. She's stunned on everybody here. And I'm about I'm feeling a flash. We got Sawyer on the right side there. Yeah. Isabella is confident. Oh, she went for the full paddle. Going for the full paddle, not going for the press into the volume. We'll see if she corrects that beta or if she keeps going. But a climber like Isabella, I wouldn't be surprised if she could easily do the double dyno. And honestly, I'm here for it. Okay, she's pushing into the volume now, so she might have corrected her beta. Okay, she's got to slow that one down a little bit. You know, the, the bright light's getting in her eyes. She got the shades on. Then, uh, all right, we got Sawyer making his way across. He's got his foot up. He's going for that zone hold. Isabel hopping back on. Isabel hopping back on. Going. So she's pushing into the volume, but she's not really taking the slow way of doing it like the other women did. But I'm here for it. I'm here for the action. I'm here to see this stuff. That's what I want to see. All right, Sawyer so hopping back on. We'll see if he can get that zone. That zone might be the determining factor of who gets first and who does not. Oh! Isabel almost hitting the one hand on it. I am here for that all day. I want to see good climbing. We all want to see good climbing. We want to see the action. All right, both of them taking a quick break. Oh, yeah. Isabel getting the crowd behind her. Not quite enough power. Gonna need to generate a little bit more. We got Sawyer over there standing on that dual tax. So we're trying to figure out the right foot to put on. I actually haven't talked about it yet, but there's a big line of black tape, and that is just telling the climbers that they cannot put their feet on any part past the black tape. So you would think that they might, you know, want to smear their feet or use those volumes on the right side with the blue holds on them. They cannot touch any part of that wall. Is Isabel taking a quick moment before she hops back on? She's stepping on. Sorry, chalking up again. Pressing into the volume. And that's what we're here for, you guys. Topping out in style. There we go. Topping out in style. She is in contention. Now, 
after these climbers, there's going to be a short break. I think there's going to be some prizes handed out. Uh, we will get the scores for you guys, and when we get the scores, we will put them up. But we got one minute left for Sawyer. You can hear the timer go right now. Everybody cheering this guy on. Let's see him. He came all the way from Minneapolis. He wants to win. This guy's a competitor. He is here to win. This guy is here to bring the honeydill back to America. Last year, he got stymied by Guillen coming in. But this year, it is his competition. He is ready. He wants to win. Oh, that was the closest to his own, but he did not demonstrate enough control on it. So he's got to be able to hit it and then make a climbing move after that. He's got 10 seconds here. Okay. All right. That is going to be the end of climbing for tonight. We saw some incredible performances. There we go. Sawyer putting on the glasses as he walks out through the crowd. All right, so there is going to be a, a few minutes here while they tally the scores. They're gonna give out some prizes. We are gonna take a bit of a break here on the stream, but we'll, uh, we'll just you know be showing the live camera. In a couple minutes, we will uh, get some updated scores for you guys, and we'll, uh, we'll be able to announce a winner here shortly.
These sponsors are the reason that we have swag prizes, the reason that we can do this competition at all. Shita Grupo, Mosley Kampucha, Flash Climbing, Nanu, Mech, The Alley, Barnhammer Grupo, let's see if Oh yeah, there we go. Keeping everybody nice and Barnhammer, keeping everyone hydrated tonight. And the best seats, just make sure of all shoes, body lodge, and massage. What can you win on this place? Oh, yeah, I could definitely, I think our winner could use one of those, yeah, definitely. Sure. Perry Summer Shop, last part of Canada, Crank Energy Bars, Fedora yeah. Rock Clients, and Fit Volumes. There you go. Yeah. Let's hear it for the sponsors, everybody. Yeah, give it up for all the sponsors. Oh. Oh, nice. There you go. Okay. Uh, Kelly Bell, Mosley Kampucha, Flash Fire, Nanu, Mech, The Alley, Barnhammer, Grupo, Mosley Kampucha, Flash Fire, Nanu, Mech, The Alley, Barnhammer, Grupo, Mosley Kampucha, Flash Fire, Nanu, Mech, The Alley, Barnhammer, Grupo, Mosley Kampucha, Flash Fire, Nanu, Mech, The Alley, Barnhammer, Grupo, Mosley Kampucha, Flash Fire, Nanu, Mech, The Alley, Barnhammer, Grupo, Mosley Kampucha, Flash Fire, Nanu, Mech, The Alley, Barnhammer, Grupo, Mosley Kampucha, Flash Fire, Nanu, Mech, The April 9th at the Park Theater. That's right. Uh, and we're watching what Oh, yeah, just to give you guys a heads up there. Dan's not mic'd in, so that's kind of just like ambient sound from our cameras and stuff that's picking him up. So uh, if you can't hear him too well, yeah, sorry, we can't quite fix that. Uh, but I'll leave this mic turned on, so maybe that will kind of help us hear Dan. <laughs> 127 hours. <laughs> Oh, sorry, but Emmanuel's Mac uh, mic'd up, so so it'll be kind of hard to to hear Dan, I guess, from that mic. But I'll leave, I'll leave this one on. Exactly. It might Without help. that, I'm not you can't climb. Exactly. You got to make sure that you can climb. So I'm going to get around through the youth that have qualified. Uh, you don't have to come up here right if you hear your name, but I'm just going to run through them. Yeah, and make some noise for all the names that we announce as well. For UC Nail, we've got Hugo Bodelin, Kaden Besselock, Lord Cheer, and Leo Park. Woo! There we go. And Kevin Lowell, and all of those kids. In UC Nail, we've got Tegan McKay and Emma Leach. There we go. Nice. In UP Nail, we've got Finn Jackson,
further information in your emails right behind that door. Awesome, and congratulations. You're good at names, by the way. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty impressed. <laughs> I didn't have some names. So oh, okay, because I was looking at some of those names, I'm like, oh, I would have messed that up. Yeah, that's I'm not gonna read those <laughs> Good, that's <laughs> It's like I'm not. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so oh. private message. Yeah, private message. Oh, we got some crowd. Chuck some stuff in the crowd. I would love to throw stuff in the crowd. Yeah. Goodness. Yeah. I've been okay, so waiting. <laughs> yeah, I like that. So we need some noise. We need some energy. There we go. <laughs> oh, we just throw. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, I like that. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's it. Oh, <laughs> there you go. That's a good catch. Oh. We got a brush? Sure, we got a brush. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh, we got mad brushes. Oh, oh. all right. Yeah, I really got it. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we got some. There we go. Another one there. Over here. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. There we go. Another one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, that's a good throw. This is good. This is <laughs> truly a one of a kind of event here. This is. Okay, do you want to get some prizes? Yeah, let's do some prizes. Do we want to get some prizes? Okay, so these are the draw prizes from earlier. Um, what we'll do is we'll give you the prize. Okay. And just what's in it, and then you can read the name. All right. Well, let's get started with these prizes. Prize number one, product from Mamut, Enigma, Escape, Prairie, Summit, and more. And these, these names are the winners of the prize? This is the winner, yeah. This is the winner of the prize? Are we ready for the winner of the prize? Make some noise for Jordan Hewlett. Is that right? So let's stand up if you want. Yeah, stand up if Where's Jordan? Where are we at? Okay, well, yeah, well. Alright, let's do two. Okay, Jordan. <laughs> I guess we're on your time. Uh, <laughs> we all just move on to the next prize? Okay, good stuff. A $100 gift card to Enigma Escape, plus caffeine to keep you escaping from Sheepdog. I'm not. You, I'm sure you know what that means, so you should be very excited about it. Because I don't know what a sheepdog is, but you need caffeine to escape it. Bruco. Oh, they make beer. Okay, there we go. It's good, and it chases you. I like that. Well, our winner here is Dave Sambrowski. David Sambrowski. There we go. Oh, there's David. There we go. Cool. That's a hundred dollar gift card to keep that cheap dog away. Or you get the cheap dog. Okay. There we are. First lady of Okay. Prize number three. We got products from Wolseley Kombucha, Crank Energy, and North Face. That's a good prize. And the winner goes to Simon Bach. Simon Bach, where are we at? Simon Bach. We in the room? We are. No, don't figure it out. You know who you are, Simon. <laughs> Prize number four. We're uh, La Sporta gift certificate, elevation tank, North Face drawstring bags. And our winner is Matt Getty. Matt Getty. Matt Getty. Not Matt Gay, Matt Getty. Matt Getty. There we go. Here he is. If Matt Gay wins, we Awesome. Prize number five 60 minute massage from Body Logic and climbing essentials from Flashed. 
Mad Rock and Rhino Repair. Our winner is Jeffrey Soto. There we are. Congratulations, Jeffrey. Jeffrey was laughing at all my jokes, so I'm so happy he won. <laughs> Prize number six, Climbing Essentials from Petzl and Method. Oh, yeah, you got it. Method Grips. Method Grips. It's a lot of words. Anyways, <laughs> make some noise for our winner, Nicholas McNeil. Nicholas McNeil. Here he comes. Congratulations, Nicholas. Oh, prize number six. Yeah, prize number six. There you go. Prize number seven, one month membership for the high. Hey, uh, quick Plus question the shift for and brush there. equipment. Uh, where, where's climbing. everybody streaming from? I know, uh, I know we got people from Minneapolis. Vicky we got people in Whistler, uh, Toronto oh, even. Right. Uh, where, where's, everybody, where's everybody from? There we go, Vicky. Prize number seven. Congratulations. Prize number eight, everything you need for an awesome time. Bouldering, including a chalk bag, eight pound cl climb craft chalk, and an Elevate t-shirt, Lily Payne. No, no. Lily Payne. We got Lily, hands in the air if your name is Lily. Okay, next prize, next prize. Prize number nine, products from Flash, including a crop hoodie, a gift card from Crank Energy, and many, many more things to keep you sending hard. That's for Jesslyn Hempner. There we are. Yes. Perfect. So we're having a hard time figuring out Oh, that one's prize number nine. Oh. Okay. No, they can hear the mild technical difficulties. It's my reading. <laughs> my reading is the technical difficulties. That's what's going on. Right. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Nice little banter here. Which Life or death? Yeah. Death. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if those are the options and I gotta climb one of these, just just, yeah, no. I'd, yeah. Like, I try my hardest, but. Yeah. Look, I could probably do a combination of like all four yeah. if all of them were together and I had. Yeah, if I had just like every hold possible. That's. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Right, and uh, where are we? Ten. Number 10? Yeah. Uh, sack line from Sack Line Industries and sick goodies Jocelyn, from Barn no Hammer. That you and Mario Rachel Chaparro. Chaparro. Yeah, Chaparro. Rachel Chaparro. Yeah, yeah, big shout out to the whole climbing community. We yes. love everybody. You guys are all awesome. They're the reason we're no all prize here. Prize number eleven. Body Logic, sixty minute and because accessories from North Face and Barn Hammer. Jeremiah so Yarmy to figure all yeah. this stuff out. Jeremiah Yarmy. Yeah, he's he'll do Jeremy anything for us. So. Jeremiah. Uh, big are. shout out to Henry, honestly. Okay. Well, Jeremiah, we got a prize for you up here. <laughs> prize number twelve. Ten punch pass for the hive. A logo T-shirt and a chalk brush. For Liana Waldner. Oh, there we are. All right. There we go. We got Henry right there. Say hi, Henry. What's up, guys? How Prize you? number 13. Body Logic 60 Minute Massage. Goodies from Flash and two Moonlit Melody Passes for Fortnite Fort White Alive. <laughs> Is that uh, Graham Wishart? Graham. That's Graham Wishart. Graham Wishart. Okay, prize 14. <laughs> we'll keep you climbing and dressed in press with two passes to Moonlit Melodies. That's going to Timothy Dewick. Tim Dewick. Timothy Dewick. Tim Dewick. There we are. Keeping them climbed and dressed in press. Prize number 14. 
Okay. Moving on to prize 15 here. Beer and coffee. Thanks to our friends from Barnhammer and Sheepdog, Ray Lee Fitzgerald. Is that right? That's it. Right. Ray Lee Fitzgerald. You have some fans, and they're so happy for you if you would come collect your prize. <laughs> On to prize 16. There we go. Bubble tea prize pack from the alley. Tex Wilkie. Tex Wilkie. Tex Wilkie. Tex in the room. Tex. Here. Is that a prank? It feels like a prank. That felt like a prank <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> okay, on to prize 17. Climbing the Essentials from Flashed, Mamat, and Rhino Repair, plus a sweet North Face tote to hold it all. Vanessa Craker. There we go. Uh, is that Mamut? Am I pronouncing that correct? Mamut. Mamut, because it didn't feel right. Mamut. Yeah, it didn't feel right. <laughs> Mamut. There we go. Prize number 18. 8, 8B. Is that? Yeah, 8B plus. 8B plus Aussie chalk bag. Plus awesome stuff from Sheepdog, Barnhammer, and North Face. Michaela Briscoe. Okay, there we go. And I should have done this off the top. I apologize to all the names that I've messed up. I'm, I'm definitely like one for 17. I feel like that, but <laughs> all good. We are off onto prize 19. Everything you need from North Face. Go into Allison Grant. Allison Grant. Allison Grant. Allison Grant. Allison Grant. You know, everything you need from North Face. That's really good. Perfect. 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 There you are. Prize number 20. Compete bouldering package, including a $50 gift card to Mech. Gift card purchase. Anything you need. Owen Westmore. Owen Westmore. Owen Westmore. Owen's getting bigger cheers than the climbers. What's going on here? Just huge fans, of Owen. Yeah, Owen. <laughs> Prize number 21. Shirt from the Hive, a gift card from Enigma, and Cranked Energy going to Jen. Carright. Carright. Crite. Jen Carrot. What did I say? I don't know. I don't even know what I said. <laughs> just, just Look, between the two of us, we'll get these names. Right, I believe it. Let's Okay. Last one. Yeah, last prize. So we got to make some, some big noise on this one. We'll allow you to keep your head and torso covered. Holds brushes thanks to Kaya and soft hands due to Sender's Save. Sal. <laughs> Thank you, Nate. That's Nate right there. <laughs> and the final prize goes to Ian Ormiston. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations to all of our prize winners. Good stuff. Amazing. Nice. Not kill us at all. I didn't win any of those. There we are. Okay. Now, ah, I think we're ready to start category winners. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to announce all the winners to the categories that competed during today. And, uh, when you hear your name, come up to the front, stand on our podium, post for a picture, smile to the uh, audience, yeah, well, and uh, we're going to bring it Yeah. So, okay, so we're going to announce the winners the to the beginner, you, female. intermediate, all that kind of stuff. And then we're going we to uh, announce our winners to open what we just watched. So, stay, stay tuned for a couple more minutes uh, and see everyone get awarded their honey dill sauce. In second place. In true Jessica Winnipeg Ames. fashion. Jessica Ames here. Come on down. Are you Kaylee? All right, Kaylee. You can stand over there. Jessica, right here. I'm really sorry, Jen. I, I was not paying attention place. to the, uh, the, the silent Jenny auction Walter. stuff. So um, I, I can find oh. out for you later if you want. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll get that to you. 
if anyone wasn't I'm there, you. that yeah, one, you will well, be contacted by the hive, yep, by the way. That's why they had your names oh, on the man. thing, so there we, we know who you are, so we'll, we'll get it to you. But I'll, I'll look into it for you, Jeremiah. Yeah, she's here. So winning a gift card to Wilderness Supply and... Can I take your uh, door prize? Here's finest honey dill sauce. There we go. <laughs> you got the Ross to F. Please, yeah, clean that up as well. Make some noise for our winners, everybody. <laughs> All right. On to our next category of winners, beginner males. Okay. Starting in third place, Craig Leatherdale. Come on, Grant. There we are. Come on up, Craig. Now here comes Craig. Is that is Craig coming? Yeah, that's Craig. Leatherdale. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Cool. See. Yeah, I thought I got it right. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Craig. Yeah. Third. Uh, far side there. Second, we got John Baptista. There we go. And first place for male beginners, Seamus. Oler, Osler, Osler, Seamus Osler, everybody. Seamus Osler, first place. <laughs> I gotta say, each name six times. <laughs> awesome. And then Masters. Yeah. Let's go back, bro. Make some noise for our winners, everybody. Congratulations. In our Masters Beginner Male category, in second place we have David Samborski. Here he comes. Where is it? Yeah. David Samborski. There we are. Yeah. And in first place we have Jackie Chow. Jackie here. Jackie Chow. First place if you are. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations. That was Masters. Masters beginner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next up, we got intermediate female. Starting with third place, Jen Karik. There we are. Second place, Susan Winton. Whoa. Whoa. Quinto? Okay, that was. <laughs> See? Oh, here we are. And our first place in intermediate female, Victoria Hill. Manitoba Crushers, Sean Barkwell right there. That guy was an intermediate. He's only been climbing for a year, and he can almost be making open. That guy is insane. Okay. 
Next category is immediate other. Second place, we got Adam Kelly. Adam. Okay, and first place, Ryan Luke. Do I say him again? No, that's fine. Okay, all good. Well, we celebrated them, and that's all it's important. Okay, you can go over there. Sure, and into our masters categories for the intermediate female masters. In third place, we have Vanessa Croker. In second, Sheila Graham. <laughs> and in first place, Susan Wintanu. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> Climbing to the top there. <laughs> Good. That's open? Cool. Do you want to say a word? Next category, we got Masters Intermediate Male. In third place, we got William Hunter. In second place, we got Daniel Kozer. Oh dear. There we go. And first place, Alexander Singbell. And the Masters Open Male, last category here. First place, Stefan Dorosher. There we go. Okay, so I think we got the main Amazing. awards coming Let's up here. Let's hear for our intermediate and beginner climbers, everybody. All right. Okay, here we go. Um, what we've been waiting for all this time. Here we go. So we'll do the men first here. In third place, winning third place in the Honeydale Stock Competition, and $50 in cash, and a jar from the mill, Hunter Goodmanson! <laughs> He's got to go back to America. Oh, he, oh, he, he just won Monopoly money. About two hundred dollars <laughs> Canadian. It's not getting him far. <laughs> Incredible climbing from Sawyer, Alex, and Hunter. Uh, it was a top. Oh, there we go. That's a <laughs> stand up move right there. There you are. Just do a he wins and he gives back to his team. I think that means they're going to get married. A true champion. 
All right, on to the right. Incredible climbing from the men there on the men's Open. side. Oh, I really don't know In what the women's place, gonna look like. Winning fifty dollars cash in a jar of money dough. Carly Lowe. Yeah. Carly Lowe. Yeah. Isabel Shoemaker, huge win. It's not the walk in the park that it was last year for her, but earned it nonetheless. Let's get all the boys up here too, men and women, for one picture. Everybody, all yeah, can we get all the fun? Really, really deserved. Every all the winners, time. every contestant. Um, yeah, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so you're a hunter if you're around. Really deserve okay. for all the climbers here today. They all, you know, worked real hard. These were hard climbs. In the past, you know, we've had kind of had like one gender or the other gender. You know, really. We all had one gender or the other gender. Kind of like flash all of them, or it all seemed pretty obvious kind of from the beginning, but. I would say that this was one of the first Honeydew styles where the 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 style was just oh, hard. Everybody, there we go. One last picture with all these guys, yeah. and also a round of applause for all of our contestants as well. Yeah, yeah, a round of applause for everybody that competed. Truly yeah. a great competition. A lot of hard work. A lot of talented climbers. Okay, well we're gonna pass it off to Corey. Is Corey our uh, illustrious leader, the owner of the gym here? Unfortunately, Corey is not mic'd up. Uh, I'll try to I'll try to say what he's saying here. He's basically saying Dan and Emmanuel are doing a great job. Pretty much the end of Honey Dill Style 2024. Um, yeah.